हेलो एवरीवन आई एम दत्तात्रेय निकम वेलकम यू ऑल ऑन आवर चैनल ई फंडा फॉर न्यू डे न्यू टॉपिक एंड आवर टुडे टॉपिक इज बेसिक ऑफ रिफाइनरी प्रोसेस पार्ट 26 ए एज मेंशन अर्लियर दिस विल बी अ सीरीज फॉर प्रोसेस इंजीनियरिंग एंड वी आर गोइंग टू कवर टुडे द बेसिक ऑफ अ रिफाइनरी प्रोसेसेस वेयर एक्चुअली द रिफाइनिंग इज द प्रोसेस of reducing the impurities in a substance you can't turn a crude oil into gasoline without first heating it then refining one can see as our thumbnail shows crude oil is entering to the furnace and then at a different level of a heating you can get the various by products which you can see as a picture as well and if you are new to our channel then please visit to our channel ifanda and watch all the videos created related to various topic for which the separate playlist are created you can just visit on our channel ifanda and don't forget to subscribe to our channel and press bell icon to get the latest notification on upload of our new video on our channel ifanda also ifanda team has created options for the member those who are interested to learn more and get the fundamentals clear do press join button to get the membership of our efunda channel community and get a lot of benefits and one of them is the first you will get the notification or our video to you and then it will pass to other viewers as well and let's start with our today's topic that are basics of a refinery processes part 26a introduction to basic of a refinery process A petroleum is a complex mixture of organic liquid called crude oil and natural gas which occurs naturally in the ground and was formed million of years ago one can refer to the production schematic for a refinery crude oil varies from oil field to oil field in color and composition from a pale yellow low viscosity liquid to heavy black trickle consistencies also the crude oil and natural gas extracted from the ground on land or under the ocean by sinking an oil well one can refer to the second picture where they are then transported by pipeline and then shipped to refineries where their components are processed into a refined product by referring a refinery production schematic an oil refinery is an organized and coordinated arrangement of a manufacturing processes designed to produce physical and chemical changes in a crude oil which convert it into everyday products like petrol diesel lubricating oil fuel oil and bitumen etc that you can see into the second picture crude oil comprises of a carbon and a hydrogen molecule in a complex chain in addition to this impurities like sulfur nitrogen and metals are also present in the crude oil that is the reason actually crude oil plays an critical role and then refinery processes help to get the by product for the consumer need and then accordingly it processes the things petroleum hydrocarbon structure they are classified as paraffinic naphthenic or aromatic crudes depending on their com chemical composition first is the paraffin one can refer to the picture where this consists of a straight or a branch carbon rings saturated with a hydrogen atoms the simplest of which is a methane that is a ch4 the main ingredient of a natural gas others in this group molecule include ethane that is a c2h6 and a propane that is a c3h8 as you can see the structure how the chemical bonding or arrangements are placed so as to understand the chemical compositions of the paraffin compounds hydrocarbons 
with a very few carbon atoms that is a c1 to c4 are the light in density and are gases under normal atmospheric pressure chemically the paraffins are more or a very stable compounds naphthenes naphthenes consist of a carbon ring one can refer to the picture below sometimes with a side chain saturated with a hydrogen atom naphthenes are chemically stable they occur naturally in crude oil and have a property similar to paraffins one can see how the chemical compounds or bonding is done against the carbon atom with hydrogen atoms aromatics aromatic hydrocarbons are compound that contains a ring of six carbon atoms one can refer to the third picture with alternating double and single bond and six attached hydrogen atom this type of a structure is known as a benzene ring they occur naturally in a crude oil and can also be created by refining process where one can see the benzene toluene and xylene these are the item where carbon compositions are placed and then how the hydrogen atoms are connected small quantities of a crude oil may be composed of a compounds containing oxygen nitrogen sulfur and metal sulfur contain ranges from traces to more than 5% if a crude oil contains appreciable quantities of a sulfur then it is called as a sour crude if the contains little or no sulfur then it is called as a sweet crude the more carbon atoms in a hydrogen molecule has then the heavier it is that is the higher its molecular weight and the higher in its boiling point this is how the hydrocarbon structure is defined petroleum refinery processing one can refer to the first picture where one can see that it is very important and a refinery begins with the separation of a crude oil into different fractions by distillation first is the distillation column and the second the unit mentioned is is by the fractionation the fractions are further treated to convert them into mixture of a more useful sellable product by various method such as a cracking reforming alkaline polymerization and isom isomerization these mixtures of a new compounds are then separated by using method such as a fractionation and a solvent extraction the impurities are removed by the various method example maybe dehydration desalting sulfur removal and hydro treating the refinery processes have developed in response to the changing or requirement of the market demand for a certain type of a product with the advantage or advent of the internal combustion engine the main task of the refinery becomes the production of a main product as a petrol and one can see in the column starting from the bottom the crude oil is coming then the boiler as the temperature is increases and the distillation tower one can see the asphalt fuel oil lubricant gas oil kerosene naphthenes gases and some other products out of these streams are also shown in a figure so as to understand this one can see the second figure where you can see small gif image to explain the process in continuation to the previous at the refineries three primary processes take place that is distillation conversion and a treatment one can refer to the figure where you can see how the crude oil is being entered then the primary processing that is a separation raw product that is a secondary uh, processing that is a conversion and then finally to the commercial product during the distillation the oil is heated and separated this is done in either crude tower or a vacuum tower during the conversion 
companies add chemical catalyst pressures and heat to the oil in a vessels called coker hydro cracker or a fluidized catalytic crackers this process is used to crack the larger hydro carbons into smaller ones and the last is the during the treatment or blending the elements are blended to make various types of a product that are usable as a engine fuel now the second figure one can see where the distillation conversion and a treatment and a blending is shown where the two types of a distillation processes are shown first is the atmospheric distillation and the second is a vacuum distillation here atmospheric distillation which takes place in the distillation column at or near atmospheric pressure the crude oil is heated to 350 degree to 400 degree celsius and the vapor and a liquid are piped into distillating column the liquid falls to the bottom and the vapor rises passing through a series of a perforated tray inside and the vapor rises passing through the series of a perforated trays cu trays heavier hydrocarbon condense more quickly and settle on the lower trays and the lighter hydrocarbon remains as the vapor longer and uh, condense on the higher tray at the upper side the liquid fractions are drawn from the trays and then removed in this way the light gases that is methane ethane propane and butane pass out the top of the column petrol is formed in the top trays kerosene and gas oils in the middle and fuel oils at the bottom the residue drawn from the bottom may be burned as a fuel process into the lubricating oils waxes and bitumen are used as a feedstock for a cracking unit additionally to recover the additional heavy distillates from the residue which occurs it may be piped to a second distillation column where the process is repeated under the vacuum called as the vacuum distillation this allows heavy carbon hydrocarbons with a boiling point up to 450 degree celsius and higher to separated without them partly cracking into the unwanted product such as a coke and gases again one can see the figure where the atmospheric distillation are compressors of the isomerization unit reformers hydro treaters and vacuum distillations are catalytic cracker coker and hydro crackers and the gasolation or gasoline blendings are also shown here refining processes so far we have seen the types of refining processes separation distillation that is a conversion and the treatment that is a blending one can refer to the flow diagram where crude oil is entering into the atmospheric distillation and then atmospheric residue where we have seen the atmospheric distillation as well as the vacuum distillations and the remaining processes are will be seen in part of the series as will be continuing the explanation or uh, making the information to share with you as part and hope this topic of today's uh, the basic of a refinery processes will help you to understand what is a refinery and the subsequent processes we will continue this series so as to complete the entire refinery processes for you only with this we are concluding on our today's topic thanks for watching our channel e funda where you will get to know the fundamentals so that is our tagline get your fundamentals right where we do identify the needs then we evaluate the need then define plan for a particular need and then accordingly execute the plan this is what we are creating our technical videos so that it will help every individual 
to get their fundamentals right and if you are new to our channel then subscribe to our channel and don't forget to press bell icon to get the latest notification on upload of our new video on our channel eFunda. Also you can follow us on our Instagram page and do follow our Facebook page as well. So keep watching our channel eFunda for new day, new topic.